Hi math friends, we're working with section 8.4 today, which deals with multiple representations of functions. The main thing that we're going to focus on today is real world links. Before we used equations with x and y, we had the equations like y equals 5x. Today we're going to define those variables and we're going to use different variables, but they'll still be the input and the output. Let's look at this one together. A runner's distance in a marathon is equal to 8 miles per hour times the number of hours. We have two things going on. We have the runner's distance and we also have the number of hours. Our other piece of important information here is the 8 miles per hour. We're going to use all of this information to make a linear equation just like your y equals 5x from before. But let's look at this. The runner's distance in a marathon is equal to his 8 miles per hour times the number of hours. So I'm going to start by saying let's have the distance be defined as d. So d equals distance. And then we're going to say, well, his hours. We can do this a number of different ways. Let's just have h be the number of hours. So h is going to equal hours. If we're making an equation here, our total distance is what we're trying to find. So we're going to have d equals, how many miles per hour does he run? 8. So we have d equals 8 times the number of hours. We don't know the number of hours. So that's our variable h. So there is our equation. We're going to look at two more examples together too. Our first example here says an elephant eats 400 pounds of vegetation each day. What's important for us to know? We have 400 pounds of vegetation each day. So we want to write an equation from that. Let's have d be the number of days and let's have v equal the total vegetation. So our total vegetation v is going to equal 400 pounds times the number of days, d. In example two here it says Paul earns five dollars in allowance each week plus a dollar fifty for each chore. So we want to write an equation where we can find how much money Paul earns in one week. So the amount of money I'm going to say is m and then we're going to have the number of chores, we don't know how many chores he does each week, so we're going to have C equal the number of chores. Let's look back at our equation. He earns that $5 each week, no matter what. He always gets $5. So we're going to have his money, M, equals $5 plus how much for each chore? $1.50 for each chore. So we're going to say this is M plus M equals five dollars plus a dollar fifty times C. So our final equation is M equals five plus one fifty C.